Welcome back to my next video. Today we are meeting Lindy. Hi, Lindy. Hi. Welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for having me. And you have got a really, really nice uh, minivan set up. What kind of a minivan is this? Uh, this is a 2016 Dodge Grand Caravan. Those are uh, great rigs. I've, yes. We've had good... Uh, Howa Homes and Wheels Alliance has bought a number of them and we've had very good luck with them. They have. I've been watching your yeah. videos on them. <laughs> And you have uh, a really minimal build in here, mm -hmm. but this isn't your first build. So how, w what's your story? How did you uh, end up living in uh, a minivan and for how long? Uh, well, the minivan I've had since the end of 2019. Prior to that, I was in a Scion. Um, I decided I wanted to upgrade. I was back in Minnesota where I'm from. Winter hit and I was like, this is the time. So. I got the minivan and then of course COVID hit and I was thankful I had a bigger space because I had to be in here a very long time on my own. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So you've been, that would be three, four years, including the Scion, you've been living as a nomad? Um, I've actually been nomadic in some form since 2015. Um, I have not just lived in vehicles, but I've also lived in TP tents, container homes. I've managed farms throughout the U.S. I've backpacked through Europe. So I've done an extension, extension to the nomad living of, uh, you know, living in a vehicle for, for quite a while. I've had some stints where I've lived in a house or an apartment too, um, but I always come back to the vehicle. So. So what, you, when you're young, what, what do you oh, attribute you that to? Oh, you think I am. <laughs> I think you are. <laughs> Early 40s. And you're, oh, I, I, I have you fooled. <laughs> I, you have me fooled. I'm almost ready to say I don't believe you. <laughs> but I do, of course. But that is hard to believe. Thank you. <laughs> you know, it, it's ter you can't afford to guess a woman's age, but I'd have guessed 20s. Oh, maybe I appreciate late 20s. That. Uh, I get that a lot. It's probably because I live as a nomad. You know? Probably We're so. We're ageless. So, so are, you're not making any promises though. If you if you live as a nomad, you'll keep looking young? Um, I have no promises for that because okay. the sun has been pretty detrimental to my freckles and stuff. So. That, that is one <laughs> we'll thing. <see>. Yeah. <laughs> Being in the sun's good, but it's also bad. Yes. Okay. So why do you, uh, why do you think you've had this urge to be nomadic? You know, I didn't even know about the nomad community. I just got uh, a hankering, if you will. I wanted to go explore. And my aunt had told me about this, kind of going off kilter here, but this off-grid women's place in Wisconsin. And so I went there 2014, the fall, and I fell in love with the idea of off-grid living. And I thought, well, you know what? I don't really need a vehicle so much to like just drive in. Why don't I just take all the seats out and try to live in it? So I went to Europe. I did my thing there. I came back. I had literally two boxes to my name, no seats in my Scion except the driver's seat and whatever else that I had left. And I just got on the road. It took me a couple of years before I heard about nomadism. And that's where I learned about your channel and got some great ideas. Um, yeah. Well well, how are you uh, supporting yourself then? Um, so a few different ways. Uh, I've had an animal and house sitting care business. So I've traveled throughout the U.S. doing animal care and house sitting. Uh, social media through my YouTube channel. I actually make uh, funding through that. And I've been doing pretty good. Uh, also social media evaluation. I work online remotely. Uh, I do that part time and seasonal work. So that's where I'm going. Technically today, maybe tomorrow, uh, to my seasonal job. So. And what kind of seasonal job? Um, so this is an RV resort, Fountain of oh, Youth uh -huh. Resort. Um, I'm going to work in the cafe. So something new and different for me. Usually with seasonal jobs, I take something that's just a short stint. Um, this one is six months, so I'll be there until April. So we'll see how this goes. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. It'll Good. be fun. Yeah. So you just have found uh, jobs uh, wherever and however you can. Yeah. Per, I mean, jobs are, are limitless when you really think about it. I mean, we, besides those things, there's temp work, there's day labor. Um, there's just all sorts of things. You have your own business, make things. Um, yeah, sky's kind of the limit. And I've tried quite a few. Uh, and you mentioned a YouTube channel, so you are, tell our audience your YouTube channel. Um, so my channel is Living the Life Lindy, L-I-V-I-N, The Life Lindy. Come check me out. <laughs> I've Be been sure. doing that since 2019. Yeah. 
Okay, uh, well, thank you so much for all that. Why don't we take a look around your uh, really nice minivan here? Okay, sounds good. As, as well as we can. It's, uh, <laughs> the tour's a long time, but we'll, we'll yeah, squeeze it down. It's a little windy out, so <laughs> we're, we're doing windy. this, so we're getting creative. Yes. <laughs> really nice setup here with these drawers. Yes, Um. so technically we're in boondocking mode right now, so I have both my front and passenger seat pushed up. I always have my shelving sitting here. I actually attach these shelves together and they're not like this oh. normally. Um, I attach the back brackets. Um, you can't really see it very well. I literally oh, use I duct tape. It. Just literally duct tape. Together. You don't have to get, you know, spendy when it comes to these things. Right. And they adhere wonderfully. They don't tip around. Uh, the passenger seat, I keep my laundry, my garbage for outside, which is too windy to have the setup. And all my propane and stuff's on the ground over there. Yeah. And then in here, a couple rugs, pretty dirty. Um, my fridge, unfortunately, they don't sell it anymore. Everybody wanted it. It's a 16 liter. Oh, um, that's, a, that's unusually small. Yes, eco-friendly. One day I'll have a 45 is my goal. I have a 600 watt power station that uh, works for that. Um, and then it's just for the fridge itself. And I charge while driving. Otherwise, I have portable solar that I can show you in a minute. Mm -hmm. um, and then I have four lighting sources. I have my tried and true Lucy string light. This has been with me since day one in the Scion. I love it. I hang it up every night. Two watts to charge. It takes nothing. Otherwise, you can do solar, which is great about Lucy lights. Otherwise, um, two other things kind of make it more homey, I guess, would be my speaker. It's just a heyday from Target, but it works wonderfully if you want like a surround sound in a little guy. Plus it's weather resistant, you can use it outside. And then this is my power bank that I use for my phone and tablet normally. Mm -hmm. So I just keep those things in the back. Um, otherwise, this is my cot. It's from Amazon. It is too big. I'm going to be honest. I don't like the cot. I used to have Quite a few different builds in here. I'm missing the build. Uh, I'm missing the conversion of a couch to a bed. I have two solar panels. Um, I have a 60 watt for my 240 Jackery that's in the front charging. And I have a 100 watt that I use um, for my King Boss. And I actually can run the lines and just put them on top. Um, and they don't normally blow away. I wouldn't have them out in this. But then I have continuous charge. I don't have to worry about setting up every day. Uh, which is really convenient. And then I have the but other... But you don't drive with them on. Oh, God, no. No, no, right. <laughs> no, that would be tricky. They're, yeah. not a, they're not attached. They're portable. They're just the fold-up ones, you know, right. from, I think it was Rock Pals I got those. They've been great. Had them since day one in my Scion. And then I have one more shelving back here. I got a little uh, creative with this one. I flipped the drawers, so three of the drawers come out in the front, but they don't, you know, shut all the way. And then the bottom drawer, which I can't get to because the fridge, I have it open in the back with my back stock items. Mm. Okay. Tried and true garbage, which has some randoms in there. Uh, not a big deal what's in there right so now. So that's not garbage, it's storage. Technically it's storage right now because I'm traveling. Um, so I'm not set up and because of the wind, I couldn't set up my outside part. So a lot of this stuff would technically be outside right now. Uh, it's just too windy. And then underneath I have a desk. Oh, yeah. Um, looks like it's coming off. It's a little hinge. But this is a cool setup. It comes down. Well, I have to undo it, but it comes down and lays flat. So I put my tablet and stuff when I'm watching movies or working. Otherwise, I utilize this middle space as mm -hmm. like a workspace, right. which has been really nice. And then under here, I just have, again, stuff's normally outside. My water bottle, my mm -hmm. vinegar bottle, and then my um, Dr. Bronner soap. Mm -hmm. And then I have my... Two little plushies, if people want to visit, they can sit on these. Otherwise, I utilize them behind me. I have this cool little rest. Mm -hmm. And this is rigged for travel. Everything is in here now. Yes, everything have... that I own. I don't have a storage unit like a lot of people. I don't have a mom and dad in the house to store things. This is all I own. Underneath, there's barely anything to even show you. I have my stove, which is usually outside. I have lots of water. Um, some back stock and food. That's pretty much, well, I have a kettlebell too. I like fitness. So. Okay. 
Good. We won't pull that out. It's kind of heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I ha there are two questions I have to ask, or there will be repercussions. Okay. Uh, the first is, how do you go to the bathroom? Oh, oh yes, that's the most important. Um, so I have a couple different setups. Um, I do have a road truck, a collapsible bin, and I use that with pellets or litter if I'm somewhere longer term. Um, absolutely no smell. It took me a long time to figure out the litter, but to be honest, I really like the Arm & Hammer, the natural bags. And then also I have kind of a mixed thing, which I can pull out if you'd like to see, but I have a portable shower I hook up to onto the minivan onto a window. And then I have a collapsible um, yellow um, plastic-like bin, but it's not hard. It's not a hard plastic. It's a soft plastic. Um, and I use that usually, and I fill that with like a gallon of water so I can take a shower. Um, very minimal, um, but I use that for like number one, like at night and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then dump, rinse with vinegar. Sometimes I get, because I'm kind of a clean freak, Lysol wipes. Well, and a question I have, and a lot of people, are, we are so used to the normal American lifestyle where owning, having a, a big space mm -hmm. is it's not a luxury. It's an absolute requirement. Yeah. I mean, if you don't have a thousand square feet or two or three, you, you, you're suffering. You're poor. Or if you don't have that space packed full of stuff. So <clears throat> was it a, a sacrifice for you? Absolutely all? not. No, all the places that I've lived prior to this, I didn't really want to live there. I mean, I, the biggest I had was a two bedroom side by side in Colorado for a brief stint during my nomad travels. I ended up setting up the living room because it was so big. It's my bedroom and I literally rented out the bedrooms. <laughs> it was too much. I, yeah. I don't equate happiness with stuff. Right. I don't equate having a life by square footage. Right. Um, when you were talking about my future, there is something that I am interested in. Um, but it's very minute, one to two acres, um, and a teeny home. That right. would be as big as I've ever wanted. I've had a house when I was married. It was a nightmare to take care of it and to think of what I was going to put in it. it. It wasn't me. Stuff doesn't define you, um, but unfortunately with social media and just media in general, TV and stuff, it's easy to want to consume. You see something and make you look better. You see something, maybe it'll make you feel better. At least that's what they say. I've jumped back into that so many times. It's, it's, it's terrible, but it happens. And then you just get yourself back out of it. I keep getting myself back out of it. Now I'm back on the road again and I couldn't be happier in my little space. Right. right. Am I missing things? Sure. Do I long for maybe a little bigger, <laughs> especially to host little gatherings. Yes, but that's okay. Sometimes still you get a compromise. It's still worth it. Still well yes. worth it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I did get an attic that is an upgrade for this time around. Um, and the reason I actually got it was I found out the hard way. I don't have a spare tire on my minivan. Normally they're equipped underneath. And I went in and I had to get a different tire and lo and behold, I didn't have a spare. Um, so I got this to have a full size tire and wheel to put in there. But I do have one luxury. I have a stand up hammock. So one of those that has the bars on both sides that I can put out uh, when it's nice out. Uh, so that's my little luxury and I love it because it's like a second room to me. Right. Uh, so this is an unusual uh, window covering you have. I don't think I've seen that before. Um, these aren't handmade. These are actually custom window coverings um, from the brand WeatherTech. Oh, and yeah. they actually make coverings for mini vehicles. And I have it covering from the front to back every window. And so, again, they're custom made. And they have the reflectix on this side otherwise you can flip them around to the other windows if you need to keep in the heat with the black side right okay why don't you tell us again your youtube channel uh it's living the life lindy l-i-v-i-n the life lindy l-i-n-d-y very good i just say if you're scared which is always the biggest question for me on my channel especially for women just do it just try it don't don't be there's nothing to be scared of. If you're even thinking about it, there's a desire there. Go out for a night, go out for a weekend. The other thing, don't plan. Don't try to plan your life around your vehicle. Live in it. 
breathe and enjoy and then decide what you need. You know, you're going to, there's going to be trial and error constantly. You're always going to be changing your mind. Right. So. Okay. Well, Lindy, thank you so much for uh, sharing your home and your mm -hmm. life with us. It's very inspiring. I think people are going to really enjoy it. And everyone, be sure and go to Lindy's channel. And I think you will be very, very glad you did. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me, Bob. In my extreme pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> so, folks, if you got anything out of this video, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll...